I got the metronome going at 60 right now. So go ahead and start with the plane, the, basically the scales going this direction like we started with. And so talking about the metronome, so when you're doing the scale stuff going this way, the goal was to play two notes per beat. So you can start getting the rhythm right since you're just doing two notes a beat you can count it like this one two 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 be good to tap your foot along with it so you get that foot going with the beep and one two one two one two one two and so on and then once you got that apply the notes doing is stick with one so let's say the one on the D and G strings you play it through correctly once bump the metronome up by only five beats per minute and then do it again and just play it correctly one time bump it up five beats a minute and keep doing that until you can't keep up with the metronome anymore that's when you know you've you're at your peak and then you can move on to the next one. So doing stuff like that with the metronome will increase your speed faster than anything else. I guarantee that. That is how everybody who wants to get really fast does it. Um, let's see. Let's do a couple rhythms from last time with the metronome just to make sure you remember how to approach these. So I'm going to do the first, the first rhythm we did. So it goes something like this. So go ahead and start tapping your foot to the metronome. Give yourself a four count before you start to help you establish where your tempo is. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the idea with those first three rhythms, because we're just pretty much dealing with whole note, not whole note, uh, quarter note divisions, well, how I like to call it, because we're counting out one, two, three, four, which is dividing up by quarter notes, but uh, when we get down to the bottom of that page, where we introduce the eighth notes, then we have the upbeat that we're, we're thinking of. So, if you were to count straight eighth notes with the metronome at 60 beats a minute, it would sound like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and... So you want to place that an, or n, however you want to pronounce it is fine, right in between those beeps. So you're going to tap your foot only when the metronome is going. Give yourself that four count, and I'll run through the first rhythm we have eighth notes introduced. And only when, you're, when you play the rhythm, try only counting what is underlined. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. 
and four. One, two, three, 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 and four. All right. So hopefully that's enough examples with the metronome so you still understand it. Um, if you have any questions with the metronome or anything we're going over, go ahead and give me a call or send me an email and let me know. I plan on seeing you uh, next week.